Do you need electrolyte supplementation on a keto diet? It is becoming more and more widely accepted that keto diets can be very healthy, and also nutritionally complete. Meat, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts and vegetables are rich in all key nutrients that your body needs on a daily basis. In some cases, however, supplementing with minerals known as electrolytes may be beneficial. This is because when carb intake is extremely low, electrolytes, especially salt levels, can get out of balance and, if this happens, you may not feel your best. Point one Symptoms of electrolyte deficiency and what to do about it Want to learn more about why electrolytes can get out of balance on low carb and other options for getting more of them in your diet? Keep reading. The keto flu When you restrict carbohydrates, the body begins to process electrolytes in a different way. This is because, under conditions of low insulin, the kidneys excrete more sodium. Since there is a delicate balance between sodium and other electrolytes in the body, this increase in sodium excretion can have a knock-on effect and disrupt other electrolytes as well. In some cases, this leads to symptoms that are sometimes described as the keto flu. The symptoms are usually temporary, but they may continue indefinitely if your electrolytes continue to stay out of balance. Point two. The main electrolytes affected by this process are sodium, potassium and magnesium. There are other electrolytes in your bloodstream, such as calcium and phosphorus, but their levels don't change much on a keto diet. However, getting sodium, magnesium, and potassium in balance can help prevent against symptoms of keto flu and fix some of the side effects you may have long term. Read on to find out more about them. Do you need mineral supplementation? The decision to take mineral supplements should be based on how you feel and whether or not you experience any symptoms. If you already feel good on a keto diet, the chances are you do not need to worry about electrolytes, although you may feel you want to try out increasing your intake of them to see if you feel even better. Bear in mind that if you engage in endurance exercise or any type of rigorous physical activity, you may find it difficult to get enough electrolytes solely from food, and you may choose to take supplements for performance reasons. Here are the daily mineral needs for people who follow a keto lifestyle, the best keto-friendly food sources, and supplement recommendations for those who can't meet the needs through diet alone. Sodium According to many health organizations, most people should cut back on sodium in order to prevent high blood pressure and other health problems. Point 3 On high carb diets, this might be true. However, on a keto diet, your sodium needs may actually increase, due to increased losses via the kidneys. Furthermore, the population wide advice to cut salt is seriously questioned today. At least six recent studies have showed no clear benefit or possibly even an increased mortality with lower salt intakes. Point four, it seems like an intake below about 5 grams of sodium per day may lead to a shorter average life. Reasons for possible deficiency when carb intake is dramatically reduced, blood insulin levels decrease and there is an increase in the amount of sodium the body loses. Point five, if sodium isn't replaced, you may experience a variety of symptoms. Symptoms fatigue weakness headaches difficulty concentrating 6 daily need 3 to 7 grams of sodium 7 to 17 grams of salt i.e. 1 to 3 teaspoons Note that salt and sodium are not quite same thing when you calculate your daily intake Salt contains only 40% sodium and the remainder is another mineral chloride so although you increase your sodium intake by eating more salt, it's important to remember that eating 1 teaspoon 6 grams of salt provides you with only 2.4 grams of actual sodium. Add salt to your diet Most people get at least 2 grams of sodium from the foods they eat. You can add a teaspoon of salt to a liter of water and drink it over the course of the day Remember that 1 teaspoon of salt provides around 2.4 grams of sodium. Another strategy is to drink broth or bouillon, which contains about 1 gram of sodium per cup. If you do physical exercise, adding sodium prior to a workout may improve your performance. In their book The Art and Science of Low Carb Performance 7, DRs. Finney and Volek recommend taking 1 half teaspoon of salt within the half hour prior to exercising. Note, if you have high blood pressure, heart failure, or kidney disease, be sure to speak with your doctor before increasing your sodium intake. Potassium When your body loses sodium, your kidneys excrete more potassium in an attempt to maintain balance. 
Symptoms muscle cramps muscle twitching heart palpitations increased awareness of heartbeat 8 daily need 3000 to 4700 mg 3 to 4.7 grams of potassium Although most foods contain only low to modest amounts of potassium there are several low carb sources that can help you meet your daily requirement High potassium foods to get more potassium into your diet you could take potassium supplements or, why not try adding an avocado or a couple of servings of other keto-friendly high-potassium foods to your diet on a daily basis. Supplements Although getting potassium from your diet is preferable, if you are very active or don't consume enough potassium-rich food on a regular basis, it may make sense to take supplemental potassium on an as-needed basis. Potassium supplements are typically available as 99 mg tablets. This is because your blood potassium levels need to remain within a narrow range, and taking too much in concentrated form can be dangerous, especially for those who take certain medications. Note that although the front label on a potassium supplement may list 595 mg as the dosage, each tablet only contains 99 mg of pure potassium, which can be verified on the detailed supplement facts label on the back of the container. Taking up to 1000 mg of supplemental potassium per day should be safe for most people who aren't able to meet their needs through food alone. Recommended supplements If you do decide to take potassium supplements, here are some good options on Amazon, 9. Now potassium supplements greater than. Solari potassium supplements greater than. Note, if you have high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, or are taking medications for any other condition, be sure to speak with your doctor before you take a potassium supplement. Magnesium Unlike sodium and potassium, magnesium needs aren't necessarily increased on a keto diet. However, although magnesium is found in a wide variety of foods, many people don't get enough magnesium from diet alone. Symptoms Muscle twitching or cramping at night or after exercising. Although muscle cramps can also occur with inadequate potassium, sodium, or fluid intake, getting too little magnesium is also a very common cause. Daily need, 400 mg magnesium. High magnesium foods Most foods only contain small amounts of magnesium, but there are a few good sources that can be included on a keto diet. What's more, many of them are high in potassium as well. Eating Swiss chard and other cooked greens on a regular basis is s great strategy that can help you meet your magnesium needs. Supplements Taking up to 400 mg of magnesium in supplement form is safe for most people with healthy kidneys. Some forms of magnesium can cause digestive issues, however, especially when taken alone. For this reason, it's best to take a magnesium supplement with a meal. Forms that are well absorbed include magnesium citrate, magnesium chloride, and magnesium glycinate. In addition, magnesium glycinate and slow mag, a slow digesting form of magnesium chloride, seem least likely to cause loose stools or other digestive problems.